Welcome to City Glasgow College. I'm going to uh, do a food demonstration. I'm going to show you four dishes that are easy, healthy and delicious to eat. And we have all the ingredients here and we'll start off with some lentil soup. So for my lentil soup, I'm going to get some onion, some carrot, some red lentils, a little bit of leek, a little bit of celery and some other root vegetables. I've got some turnip, some uh, parsnip, some turnip, etc. But you can, um, you can, these are optional. Okay, so we'll go around and start preparing the soup. Okay, so a good tip when you're cooking anything is to get all your preparation done first. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to um, cut up the vegetables for the soup. And the first thing we teach the chefs here is knife skills. So it's very important to be a chef. But if you just uh, cook for fun, then the more you the more you have a knife in, the, in your hand, the better you'll get. And it's very important, as I said, to be a chef, to have good knife skills. So we chop up the onion. And we go in with a little bit of oil. And we're going to slightly fry off the vegetables. That's going to give them a nice sweetness. Some carrot. Now I'm making a broth type soup. And I can also make it into a puree. So... I'm cutting the uni vegetables in a slight uniform, but if you want to make a pureed soup, it's quite easy to uh, blend it. Okay, carrots go in. A little bit of leek. Now, leek grows in the ground, it can be quite dirty, so we're going to wash this first. So I cut the leek in half this way, so we can give it a wee wash. Take the inside of it out. The leek will give the soup a nice sweetness. Wash this a little bit of cold water. The celery I'll also give a wash. So I've washed the leek, I've washed the celery, Chop it nice fine bits. And I fry them slightly. Okay. Now the leek has been washed, that can go into the pan. A little bit of turnip. Turnip's quite hard, you need a nice sharp knife to cut it. A little bit of parsnip. The, pars the parsnip is optional. Okay, now that's the vegetables in the pan. Control the cookery temperature, make sure they don't burn, and let get them nice fragrant nice and sweet and then we can add some lentils to it. I've also got some chicken stock here and chicken stock is just a chicken stock cube dissolved in 500 mils of boiling water. So if my vegetables are nicely sweated down you get a nice aroma from them. I can add some lentils, not too much. Okay. My stock, just cover the vegetables 
little bit of salt and let this come and simmer away for 20 minutes. This is ready after 20 minutes and if you want a pureed soup you can just blend it with a hand blender which you find in the you can buy from any supermarket for under 10 pounds. And that's the lentil soup. Nice and easy. So we're going to do chicken stir fry now. Really quick and easy dish to make which is also uh, very healthy. So I've got some carrot, some onion, do some red onion today, some beet spreads, pepper, chosen a green pepper, you could use a yellow pepper, red pepper, a couple of spring onions, a little bit of ginger, and a little bit of uh, garlic. Okay, you can also put other things in, chili if you want, and I've got some Broccoli, a little bit of broccoli for florets here that I get is optional. So we, you could just do some onions, beans, sprouts and carrots if you like. So again, the most important thing is that we prepare everything. Stir fry is very fast cooking, so you can't be putting things in a pan while you're cutting other ingredients. You must have it all ready before we go. So the red onion, I just cut it into this time into nice slices. Carrot, and this is what we call julienne. So I'll square it off slightly. I'm going to put this in the soup, not to waste it. Cut it to nice thin slices. And then build up the slices. And that's cut's called julienne. If you can't do julienne, you can always grate the carrot. Peel the carrot and just grate it. Okay, for my pepper, take off the stem. I'll sit it on, its, on the stem and I'll cut so not to disturb the seeds. Now peppers are expensive, so you want to get all the pepper, use it all up. Okay, seeds can be thrown away. I cut the white, some of the white ribs out. And cut the pepper into julienne as well. Okay, so half pepper is enough for me today. We have the ginger, which I cut very fine. Ginger is like a spice. So it's well worth buying a decent knife and keeping your knife nice and maintained nice and sharp. Chef's best friend. Garlic, I crush the garlic just like this. And then again, cut it into very small bits. I'll mix the ginger and garlic together. Okay. And the last thing we have is some spring onions. Okay, I'm going to use the spring onions for garnish. Cut them into nice diamonds like that. We also have some chicken and some noodles. Here, here we have the just ordinary egg noodles and I boiled them in salted water for about three minutes. Okay, I've got a uh, chicken breast which I've cut into strips. So it's boneless, skinless, I've cut it into strips. I've got some soya sauce here. And I'll just marinate the chicken quickly in a little bit of soy sauce. Now mix that around. The raw chicken needs to be kept away from all the other uh, fruit and vegetables um, because it could give you food poison. Okay, so we'll start off with a little bit of oil. And we'll add to that the chili, the ginger, and the garlic. Now cook that. 
to look really for the aroma. Smell that. And then we add some chicken. Stir-fry suggests, you want to keep on stirring the chicken brown with the ginger garlic and let it cook. And there's a lovely aroma in the kitchen there as the ginger and the garlic are really releasing the flavour. Okay, and all my other ingredients are ready to go. So the chicken takes Three or four minutes to cook, and I have my I have all my other ingredients here. My soup is on. I let that simmer away for twenty minutes, and keep on tossing this chicken around till it's fully cooked. Only then will we add all the other ingredients. Okay, so chicken's been about three or four minutes in the pan with the ginger and garlic. And just to test if it's cooked, I can take a bit of chicken out and I can cut it in half, but it's all white all the way through. So the chicken is done. Now we add the other vegetables, my peppers, my carrots, onions, and bean sprouts. I cook the broccoli a little bit, because it's a little bit hard. Okay. And we can put these in a cup. Now we start frying the vegetables, not till they're soft, till they're crispy, but just really heat it through. So it's a very quick meal to make this. You can do vegetarian stir fry, you don't have to have the chicken. You can add uh, uh, other vegetables, like I said, red pepper, leek mushrooms, etc. Okay. Now, that's the vegetables nice and hot, and I can add in my cooked noodles. So I've cooked these noodles for about three minutes in boiling water, but whatever the instructions are on your noodles, on the packet of noodles, Get the noodles nice and hot, get them all covered with the vegetables. And then we can add a little bit of soy sauce. Not too much, you don't want to make it too salty. And get the noodles nice and warm. Now everything's nice and hot. Now we can serve this up. So delicious stir fry, nice and healthy, ready in about 10 minutes. Put some noodles into the dish. Right? And some vegetables and some chicken. Nice and hot. Finish the dish off with some spring onions. Okay, just clean the side. And that's our chicken stir fry. Okay, a couple more spring onions, they fell off. And that's the chicken stir fry ready. Done about 10 minutes. Nice and healthy, cheap, and easy to make. Ok, 
Okay, so the next dish we're going to do is a pasta dish. We're going to do a penne arrabbiata. This actually means angry pasta in, in Italy. So it's tomato with some chili, and it's going to be quite spicy. So you can use any pasta. I've choose, choose some penne pasta, which will cook in boiling water in about, about salt and boiling water in about 10 minutes. I've got some tin tomatoes here. I'm going to use. I've got some garlic again. And I've got some fresh green chilies. I'm also going to put a little bit of basil into it. Check out here. A little bit of oregano. And use some olive oil. And again, another simple recipe. A um, few ingredients. I've chosen tin tomatoes here today. Uh, it's December, it's winter, so the fresh tomatoes aren't so good. So the tin tomatoes, um, tin Italian tomatoes, will, will be best this time of year. Okay, for the penne arrabbiata, as I said, I've chosen penne pasta here. Um, and I put it into, plunge it into boiling water, boiling salted water, and that will take 10 minutes. Now, the sauce is so quick, by the time the pasta is cooked, the sauce will be ready. So, it's real fast food. I've got two cloves of garlic here. It's a nice Italian dish, lots of garlic. And I crush the garlic, just like I did for the stir fry. And get it nice and fine. Okay, so I have some olive oil here. Nice Mediterranean flavors. A little bit of olive oil goes in the pan. Add in my garlic. I let the garlic cook for a couple of minutes, release its aroma, and come together. Meanwhile, I'll chop the chili. I want to get the chili very fine. I'll put in half the chili here. You can always add more, but you can't take away. So I take the seeds out of the chili. Let's make it a little bit more mild. And chop, chop it up very finely. Okay. Now, I've got some dried oregano and fresh basil to go in this. That's going to be served with some Parmesan cheese. So, a quick tip, only stir pasta with a wooden spoon and not a metal spoon. A metal spoon will break it up. Okay. So, garlic is cooking away in the olive oil. Let it, let it really re release the aroma and let the garlic colour slightly. That will give it a lovely, creamy kind of taste. So, garlic is coloured a wee bit. I'll add in the chilli. Add in my tin tomatoes. A little bit of salt. Pinch of dried oregano. And let that simmer away for about eight to 10 minutes. Okay, now back to the soup. I like the soup to be broth-like with the chunks of vegetables still in it. Some people like it, um, the soup puree. So we can do it both ways. Taste and check for seasoning first. It's lovely, you get the nice sweetness from the vegetables. A little bit more salt. Together. And Put one ladle of soup here. Put on the ham blender and blend up the other soup. So two different soups from one recipe. One broth type soup and one puree. Now 
before I clean that, make sure it's unplugged. And then I'll put that aside so we can clean that later. Here is the puree type soup. I prefer the soup like a broth. My children prefer it like this. So I serve myself first and then, then my kids. A bit of parsley on top, serve with some nice crusty bread, and there's our lentil soup. Okay, tomato sauce is cooking away. The pasta is cooking, we want to cook it al dente, slight bite to it, not all the way soft for, for the pasta. Okay, so last dish we're going to prepare here is the chili con carne. We have some onion, some garlic. Again, more chili. I've got some cheese for the top. I've got some red kidney beans, which we could use. Uh, we could replace the mince and make a vegetarian chili just with the red kidney beans. I'm gonna have some fresh tomato, some tin tomato, and we have some grated cheese and some salt and some sour cream to go on top. Okay, so for the chili cacari, I've got some uh, beef mince here. And we will start off by cutting the onion. So we'll get the onion nice and fine. And the more you cut, the better your knife skills will improve. The more you practice cooking. I'll put a little bit of vegetable oil into the pan. My onions, my chili, nice and fine, like we've done before. Now, my chili. My garlic and the chili. So I'll leave the seeds in for this one. Chili cacardia, I want it to be quite spicy. Add that to the pan with the onion. Let that cook till it's a little bit soft and sweet. I'll chop up my fresh tomato for this that I've actually skinned. I put it into boiling water for about 20 seconds and take it all the skin off. Alternatively, you could just use some tinned tomatoes or again, you could use all fresh. So the onions, chili and the garlic have released the flavour. We'll add in some mint now. Keep the rest of the fridge and break up all that mint. Takes a couple of minutes, just add there until all the mint's nicely brown and broken up. And we do that for any mince dish. Cottage pie, mince and patties, bolognese sauce, with the brown, brown all the meat. Okay, so we get each individual piece of mince here. Okay, so I've browned off all the mince, got all the nice individual pieces, and now I'm ready to start stewing it. So we add our fresh tomatoes, some tinned tomatoes, Some red kidney beans, and as I said, if you want to do a vegetarian version, you can replace the red kidney beans with the mint, or replace the mint with the red kidney beans. And I'm going to add to this a little bit of beef stock, which is just 
beef stock cube dissolved in 500 mils of boiling water. Lip, add a little bit of salt to that. And again, a little bit of my oregano. A little bit of another spice, uh, cumin, some, some dried cumin. We'll go in here as well. Okay, let that come to the boil. That will cook for around about 20 minutes. Nice fast food. We'll serve that with some rice and some, some salsa, some sour cream, and some cheese, really cheap. Now back to the pasta dish. Let's check if this pasta is cooked. Okay, so to buy the instructions, you want to try the pasta to make sure that it's that's beautiful enough al dente. So I can remove the pasta from the heat now. Clean down. We can serve the pasta sauce as it is, or we can serve it blended, just like the soup. So I'm gonna blend the blend the butter sauce with it. Just a wee bit. I don't want to blend up the seeds, I want to keep it a little bit chunky. We'll clean that, we'll unplug it. And the tomato sauce and the pasta can go together. Okay. together. The last thing I'm going to add to this is some fresh basil leaves that we have here. So we can tear the basil or just lightly cut it. Okay. Before you serve the, guest, the dish to your guests and family, have we try? See if it needs a little, a little bit of salt and pepper. Very good, time to touch of salt. A little bit more olive oil, just to make the dish gleam. Now we have a penny, a penny arrabbiata ready, and I can serve that with some Parmesan cheese. Chili con carne is here, chewing away. I will serve that with some rice and some salsa, and some sour cream. Okay, so lastly we'll grate some pa fresh parmesan cheese, you can get it from the shops already grated. On top. And that is our penne arrabbiata. Okay, now the chili con carne is cooked out for about 20 minutes and the tomatoes have fallen apart a wee bit, they've stuck in the sauce. All the flavours have come together, the mince and the kidney beans. Now, remember, always give your food a wee try before you give it to any of your guests or your family. Again, he's a tiny bit of salt. I'm ready to go. Okay, I've got some rice that I've cooked here. Put that on the plate. Delicious chili. Now I've made up some salsa. You can always buy the salsa in a jar. And that's going top. I've got some fresh tomatoes, some lime juice, some coriander. that across. I've got some sour cream. Just going to dollop on top. A little bit of grated cheese. Here I've just used cheddar. And that can go on everything. And to finish it off, a little bit of fresh coriander. Go with a nice Mexican food. Okay, and that's the chili carne. So here we have our four dishes that we've done. Our lentil soup. I've got one blended lentil soup and one broth type. 
It takes about 10 minutes to prepare, 20 minutes to cook. The pasta, same again. It takes about 10 minutes to prepare, 10 minutes to cook. The um, chicken, it can be ready in um, uh, around about 15 minutes. You can chop fast. And the chili carne takes about 20 minutes to stew, but only about 10 minutes to prepare. So they're all nice, healthy, nutritious dishes. They're fast, they're fairly easy, and I hope you'll enjoy them. Thank you.